Alright, hello and welcome everybody. Monty here. This episode is going to be available on the Steam Workshop as far as the save game map. Right after I finish up with this episode, I'm going to be uploading it to the Steam Workshop. You can also get it right after each of our episodes so you can play it at whatever progression you'd like. What you're going to want to do is it is called on the Steam Workshop... PC Switched Episode 3 Monty Express. Now, the reason why you're going with this episode right here is because this is Episode 3. Jason had the second one where he built out his little roller coaster, which you will see, and John Murphy got us kick-started with the entrance. And we are just going to keep passing this around. You're watching Monty Rico Gaming. Well, welcome, welcome, everybody. I just can't plan these starts better. This guy just happens to be walking by. Planet Coaster is the name of the game, and we are here in Murph's entrance here of Planet Coaster Switched. Just an amazing idea. I cannot wait to just continue getting just play, play, pass, play, play, pass kind of deal going on here. It's going to be awesome. And I'm just checking out his pirate village up front and forward. And what I'm going to be showing off of this episode, because you know it's not a Monty episode if it doesn't include a train, which you see in the background. That was my part in it for episode number three, is I added a train, which we're not building out live as I usually do. Sometimes I just show things off and I'm going to highlight it. And then I've got a square in the distance with one of my roller coasters that is on the workshop. But there's so much cool stuff going on, I cannot explain the coolness that is this. Hold on, let's get on a cool uh, cool one right here. Look at this. The log rides, the pirates. We are now heading out of Murph's territory and into JS Gaming. Jason, right here, check it out. Adding all kinds of cool stuff. Got his square on. And he's going to be happy to know, whoa, that right off here, I added one of my first train stops. Now, the train stations are not decorated out, so when you guys do take over for a switched, if there's a train station in a square that is unmarked and the square is unclaimed, that train station, feel free, use it, abuse it, change it up all you want, just don't stop the train action. As it is a park transport, oh man, it's exciting. We're going to go on a full tour of it, but Murph, great idea. Flat map, we're going to be passing this in the Steam Workshop. You guys are more than welcome to download it. All the links are going to be included below. Of course, for everyone's YouTube channel, everyone's episode, this has got weird. Every one of our channels will have a playlist of all this. It's going to be good times and good gravy. Oh my goodness. Now let's get on the train right up front. What train is this? You. We'll start out here, heading on in. Now this park right here, or this station should I say, is definitely closed. Uh, this one's open. The other two are closed. So if you do take them over, make sure you set those up right. And let's get this going, shall we? Cinematic view. Let's go for a ride. I'm going to let us enjoy this. We're going to go over the front entrance here. Oh, no. We got a breakdown. Who's here to save the day? Hold on, hold on. Credits gotta be handed out here. Because we've got maintenance people on the way inspecting the Monte Express. It was just an inspection. Herschel Kessel. You know what we can do? Because I said I would do some training employment. What can we do here? We're gonna go, hey man. Hey man, you want some training? I'm gonna train you. Yes, you're happy, and I'm going to give you a raise to 320. That's a good raise, man. Don't be complaining about it. You better be happy. You better work hard. Get your inspection on. No. Come back, train. No, not you. Train. 
Ooh, there it was. No, it's not. Oh, but we'll go with this one. Too many cool trains. I think I've got four trains running. Here it is. Jason with the awesome crashed train set up here. I'm yelling over these horns, but I'm loving this with the sunset. Going over the entrance. I've got these trains maxed out. It's good times. It's epic. And I did try to rebuild most of the pathing. Uh, and I know that it was more of just a grid. Nothing to permanently need to stay. And while our train fills up here, I can't wait to show off these poor people. Oh no, let me show you. Where are we? Oh yeah, it brings us all the way back here. So we're gonna go over here through Jason's crazy roller coaster. Might go for a ride on that at the end as well. But yes, this was the train that we were just on. Tried to rebuild these pads. It goes under here. This one right here. It said that it updated it, and I'm gonna try to do it live save blueprint as look yes right here the runaway monty 5k already here updated the blueprint so i'm not gonna hit continue i know i hit x there but it looks already reset here i checked the steam workshop and it looked like the older version but that's okay so this is my square my square is pretty cool. I got my roller coaster. I added some trees. I got a path. But like I said, I feel bad. All these people are walking all the way out here. So we got to give them something else to do, right? And one of my favorite rides. It almost doesn't look that impressive in here. But once you put it on the sun flare. Oh, it's massive. And I got to have a massive ride over in Monty Acre Corner. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna throw the entrance down. We're gonna throw an exit right up and over here. And now connect entrance path right here and just auto start it up, get it going, get it connected. And we're not gonna do anything fancy. Straight up, straight path. Getting it done. Now, this is going to be a nice little connection over here. Right back if they want to go on the fancy train ride. Oh, I love this one, too. It's really nice. Do a little cinematic view of it through the trees. See how this one looks. Guess I got some music playing. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that music's fitting. But oh no, little peeks, little snippets. You guys might have seen it. Mr. Crown right up front. Guy's got his crowns, but people are going to be happy with this. Let's open it. Let's not forget. And then let's find a train. Oh, this one right here. Yes, please. Oh man, I, ah, yes, we are going to be going to my stop. The one that's a work in progress for sure, but we get a nice view of the sundial here. Now, all of you guys, whoever gets the Switch thing, feel free to build on the track and stuff, but I might poke around. Ooh, spooky. Like I said, work in progress. I've spent maybe about an hour, hour and a half on it. This is my underground hidden lair. And here we are. In the lair of Monte Rico. That's right, just uh, just starting to build it out. I dug it deep, got it going down. I gotta fix the uh, the train intervals as well. But the cool thing to note is the train is the only way to get down here. 
And it's doing pretty well so far. I just added a little restaurant, uh, which was a mod pack right there. Not a mod pack, but a, a workshop item. But for the most part, this is all non-workshop stuff. Built out all the, the train tracks. And started building out some cool lighting effects and such. Getting the chandeliers going as well as the train goes on and up and out. So I don't know who's going to be doing the next thing, uh, Koi or Grumpy or who, but there's going to be some good gaming on the way. And like I said, this I left room to expand. This was me just getting started, and I, I wanted to just throw something down, show you guys what we're doing. And I, gotta, I had to get the train hype started, and I'm excited to just kind of sit back, enjoy, really customize this out, get the rocks all right, get the lamps all perfect as we cruise on the magic lamp ride, the magic carpet. Another really cool workshop item was this sword in the stone waterfall thing. And uh, it works out mighty nice. Let me close that so that looks a little bit better, a little more realistic there. But we got a lot of lights going. Got some stores, restrooms, first aid. We've got our mighty pirate. Let's rar on him a little bit. Camera of interest as he cruises around past the little Japanese archway. Hey, look at this. Oh, they're going to love it. Look, look, look. They got the pirate hats on. They're going to be scared because it's dark. Oh, man. Like I said, little details I got to work on, and this is how I, I learn about it, too. It's just, you click on a character, you enjoy it. This guy's like, man, they don't let me take the train, and that's the only way in and out. Yar. Yar. I hate my job. Yar. No, he's okay. One thing that I thought was cool is it did let me build the pedestrian path right through the ride here, the little circular Hellion ring, which is broken down at the moment. Grr. Gertie, gertie, gertie. Which, uh, you know what? We will hire a brand new staff member. Come on now. Edmundo Wit? Edmundo Wit. Hmm. Maybe we're all going to have to, like, name each other out after a, a staff member or something. But anyway, what do you guys think so far? Like I said, just a quick start. Next time I'll probably come in, spend a little bit more intimate time, and show you guys uh, me building out a little bit and expanding. But I wanted to more just show off this really cool idea. Planet Coaster Switched. We're going to be sharing this on Steam. Remember, all the links are down below. Check it out. You guys stay tuned because this is only going to get crazier. Like I said, this was more of a teaser episode of what I got going on in the corner. Jason's got something going on. Murph, who knows? He's going to take over some more squares. And we're going to have more YouTuber extravaganza, madness, and mayhem. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Planet Coaster Madness. Oh, yeah. It's happening. I'll see you guys next time. Peace on out.